In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my reasons for switching from Sony Vegas Pro 14 to Adobe Premiere Pro 2017. Without further ado, let's get started. What's going on everybody, Joshua here with Choppy Tech. And as you may know, I got a new computer recently. If you haven't been following me on my social media accounts, I got a new computer and I got a Dell with an Intel Core i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, and a GTX 960M graphics card. So with a new computer, I said, you know what? Instead of just getting a new computer, I also want to upgrade my editing suite of choice. And I upgraded from Sony Vegas to Adobe Premiere Pro. So my reasoning behind this upgrade from Sony Vegas Pro 14 to Adobe Premiere Pro is one of them was had to do with the specs of my computer. So Adobe has this really cool tool called the Mercury Playback Engine, which utilizes your graphics card very well for 4K video editing and video editing general. And in my search for a new computer, I also was looking for a computer that would be able to edit 4K with ease on the Adobe Premiere Pro. And judging by my last video, that was a huge success and Adobe Premiere Pro handled it with no problem. And the Mercury Playback Engine helped with that because it utilizes my graphics card and that's why I got a really good graphics card in my computer. At least I think it's a good graphics card, at least for video editing. As long as it has some sort of graphics, I think it's fine. And the Mercury Playback Engine helped with my editing in my last video. And that was one of my main reasons to switch from Sony Vegas Pro to Adobe Premiere Pro. My second reason behind upgrading from Sony Vegas Pro to Adobe Premiere Pro is that it's a lot more up to date and easier to use. And by up to date and easier to use, I mean that like color grading from in Sony Vegas Pro was a hassle, but in Adobe Premiere Pro, it has easier tools to get the job done. I know my last video, the color grading was not good at all, but that was just because I was kind of like fooling around with it and just seeing how it worked and I thought it kind of looked cool but that was just my opinion on that one but some other features is that you can do a lot of different things with like voiceover and you can work with the Adobe suite easier if I plan to upgrade to the other Adobe programs in the Adobe suite then I can utilize those with my video editing so like if I wanted to I can be editing in Adobe Premiere Pro and then I can move it to After Effects or Photoshop and like do some stuff with in there and to make my video look the best that I can do um, and yeah it's just easier to use and the features are a lot easier so granted Sony Vegas was an easy program and I mastered that pretty well but some of the tools in, Adobe, in Sony Vegas were a lot harder to use than stuff that you can do in Adobe Premiere. So that was another reason why I upgraded. My final reason is that I wanted to be in the industry standard. So Sony Vegas kind of fell off in the past few years and Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro is pretty much where it's at. And as a matter of fact, Adobe Premiere was used to edit many feature films that were seen in the showcase and cinemas. So Adobe Premiere Pro is not a entry level software at all, but it's a software that I wanted to upgrade to, to get into video editing more and to do higher quality client work and just edit better and learn the other features that Adobe Premiere Pro allows you to do that Sony Vegas Pro does not allow you to do. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or want a follow-up video, maybe sometime down the line when I have more experience in Adobe Premiere Pro, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. If you're new around here, I highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's free and you can stay up to date with all the content that I post on the channel. Also, check out my social media links in the description below and follow me on there so you can stay up to date on certain things that goes on outside of the channel or things with the channel that I don't make videos about so that's just an extra bonus if you want to be a super fan of choppy tech but that's all for me today thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video peace